the day, that was uh, that was the elbows I got to rub early on. So that was it, it. It is super cool having those memories now. And to your point, like, you know, obviously, I I hope the glory days are in front of me, right? But like from where I'm at now. Those were some fun fucking days, and you don't realize it in the moment. When did you meet that guy right there? Oh, dude, that, one, of the, Rock? one of the favorite interviews I ever did. Is you Darius the Rucker. He's a cool dude. All of Hootie and the Blowfish, actually. The, yeah, you talk about Hootie, bro. Um, that dude was cool as hell. I met him at a, a comedy club, at Stand Up Live. That, really? was, that picture was at Stand Up Live in the green room. No way. Um, yeah, he popped in. I was kicking it actually. My buddy uh, Chappelle Lacey it, was opening for. I think it was probably Brennan Schaub. I don't know what the yeah it had to be because we were all kicking it in the green room afterwards, and um, somebody knocked on the door. He was uh, he was at the time dating uh, a comedian, and she popped in and she was like, "Hey, what's up?" And she was gonna come in. And we all know her. And then she was like, "Can I can my boyfriend pop in too?" And we were like, "Yeah." And then it was like, "Fucking Hootie." It was like. My boyfriend popped it. You talking about Hootie of the Blowfish? Like, yeah, he can fucking chill <laughs> for sure, dude. I want to hold his hand. You know what I'm saying? Like, cracked rear view? That shit mattered to me. I'm 35. Like, that was a fucking amazing album. So, yeah, all of a sudden we're kicking it with Hootie. And uh, it was funny. One of my other homies, he's a local dude here. Luis, you know who Luis Alvarez is? Yes. He's yeah. one of my favorite comics here locally. If you don't fuck with him, I think it's Comedy Luis on um, Instagram. Very funny dude here. Here, we're kicking it with uh, Hootie, and uh, I know who the fuck Hootie is, right? And Luis is younger. He's probably mid-20s or something. I'll never forget. We're just chilling outside and getting, you know, just bullshitting with him. And Luis looks at him. He's like, so what do you do for a living? And I'm sitting there like, motherfucker, what is fucking Hootie? And he also was funny because he responded. He was like, I do I play, uh, I do music, touring, touring musician. Like, so humble. Like, you know, he's like. That was a cool night, though. That's what we would all say. Just like, yeah, just play music. Yeah, no honestly, like, he was just a regular That's motherfucker. That's no excuse. I'm only 23 years old. I yeah. grew up on Hootie and the Blowfish. Yeah? I Are love you, Hootie. You t you're 23? Really? Damn. Yeah, that's good that you know Hootie. I mean, he's that's timeless shit, though. Everybody, I feel like he's he's also now, um, what, is he country star? So, yeah. like, he's actually even more known for that, which is strange to me. But, um, yeah, legendary dude. And to what we were talking about earlier, like meeting celebrities and shit like that in L.A., like he was, some people are way like more reserved and closed off. Dude, he was cool as fuck. And it was just like hanging with a buddy. Oh, I, yeah. I just met him, but I was like, talk, we're just the way that he held the conversation was like super, it put you at ease and you weren't like intimidated because some motherfuckers. That's the best, like literally it's just like, I'm just like you, man. Yeah. You know? Yes. I'm doing what I love. This is what I wanted to do. I don't have to act like a big shot. Yeah. Another exactly. uh, comedian I interviewed was Rob Schneider. Just oh, yeah. a huge Legend. actor, SNL writer, whatever yeah. you want to call him. As soon as we hopped on, he's just like, Jack, handsome man, what's going on? Yeah. Like, he's just a cool guy. Yeah. Like, literally, you, you have no business talking to me. Like, I, like, I'm not helping you. You're helping me here, yeah. man. And, yeah. And you were that kind, that, that gracious to do that? Well, you had, uh, I saw one of the videos you had was, you had Bob Saget. Yeah. The he, yep. like, I never got to actually meet him. May he rest in peace. Obviously, somebody that, like, has, like, a, had an iconic, um, you know, vision in anybody's childhood that was in, in my age, but also, like, Full House is still very huge oh, in everybody. Uh, America's funny on videos, House. all that shit. He, uh, all the stories you heard this week since his passing was, like, how down to earth he was, and I'm sure you can attest to that, like, talking to him. Like, I, I watched a little bit of that um, interview, and he was just, like, so cool. So, like, not intimidating. So, like... He didn't hold it over your head that he was Bob Saget. It was no. like, yeah, it, I love shit like that. Th 